Armed protesters who seized a government building in the U.S. state of Oregon are refusing to surrender. As the occupation enters its third day, the militia are calling on supporters from across the country to join them. We need you to come because we need to be united and we need to have a strong defense. That's the way we can make sure that there is no uh, lives that are lost here. These men came to Harney County claiming to be part of militia groups supporting local ranches, when in reality these men had alternative motives, to attempt to overthrow the county and federal government in hopes to spark a movement across the United States. Federal and local police are preparing to create a joint command centre now to take action to resolve the standoff. The armed men have criticised authorities for what they call a failed legal process concerning two locals convicted of arson. The men were charged under anti-terrorism law, sparking debate over the federal government's authority in local matters. The militia want to put federal land under local control. Igor Piskanovs in Oregon with the latest. We're here at the National Refuge Wildlife System in rural Oregon. That behind me is actually the entrance to that territory. And, well, the vehicles, which you could probably see there, including the truck, uh, these vehicles belong to the group of people who currently have this territory under their control. And they're not the police or the staff. I was able to speak with one of these men. How many people are here? Uh, there's enough. Okay. Um, we heard that there might be some weapons here as well. Is that true? Well, the Second Amendment means you can carry weapons, so I hope so. Okay. Um, what is the purpose of, uh, of this, this event, of what's happening here? This is the purpose of the event here, the United States Constitution. So you're defending your rights? Yeah, defending the rights of the, the local ranchers, loggers, four-wheeler riders, snowmobile riders, horseback riders. All that. What if the police use force to, to drive you out? No, that would be bad. Are you, ready, are you ready to resort to force also? I guess that's what everybody's worried about. I mean, I, th I think we'll just do whatever it takes for that not to happen. Well, theoretically, if it does, hopefully not for everybody, but... Um, you know, I don't think anybody wants to be shot here, so... Earlier, another uh, representative of this group of people warned to the authorities from using force. The federal government should respond to this with force or just be constitutional? If they did, <laughs> if they, yeah, they should just be constitutional. That's a great point. But if they did, they would be doing it and putting lives at risk. I asked uh, the man that I spoke with whether or not they're prepared to allow uh, the staff of this refuge inside. Uh, and he said that anything could, could happen. Uh, he did say that the locals here uh, may be afraid to come because of all this quote unquote panic being spread by the authorities. In the town nearby, the atmosphere is a bit tense. Many people don't exactly know how to treat uh, a situation like this. The local schools there are, are closed and the courthouse is closed as well. I am worried that somebody might get hurt. Oh, I feel like they're taking it a little bit far. I don't know if the National Guard will step in. They might step in, though, if need be. Like School has been canceled. People are scared. They might have to step in. With the federal government, I wouldn't be surprised if they would send the National Guard, yes. Of course, we'll be monitoring how the situation unfolds uh, throughout these next couple of days, and we'll be bringing you all the latest from Oregon. Igor Piskanov, RT.